gentlemen, this bout is scheduled for three five-minute rounds in a battle of featherweights. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist with a professional record of two wins and one loss. He stands five feet 11 inches tall and he weighed in at 145 and one half pounds. Training with Team Titan Pennsylvania. He fights tonight out of State College, PA. Give a big Atlantic City welcome to Bill Algio. His opponent tonight fighting out of the red corner. Trained as a wrestler, but he's got good jujitsu submission skills. His record, perfect. 5-0 and oh as an amateur, 2-0 and oh as a pro. At 5 feet 9 inches tall, he weighed in at 145 and 1 half pounds. Training with Masenzio Cavicella MMA. And here tonight from Newark, New Jersey, ladies and gentlemen, Frank Buena Fuente. Your referee for this contest is Kevin Mulhall. So Kevin Mulhall will be in charge of the action inside the cage. And Buena Fuente certainly getting a little hometown support here coming out of Newark, New Jersey, and Masenzio Carnesea MMA. This one's scheduled for three rounds in the featherweight division. Hey, okay, fight, are you ready? Are you ready? Let's fight. Here we go, World Series of Fighting 2 off and rolling. You know, I have the feeling it is going to be a striking battle. How weird is that always? Oh, oh, beautiful wow. knee. Knee comes up. Algio strikes big, but it looks like Buena Fuente is going to survive. Comes with his own takedown. I uh, went for the guillotine, but he doesn't have in the gut. Nice reversal there. Beautiful reversal by Frank Buena Fuente. So action coming early and often. We are less than 30 seconds into this one. Oh, this is going fast. Yeah, you can see both these guys know their wrestling. Boy, talk about shaking the cobwebs off. Whoa, that was nice. <laughs> Wait a moment. I mean, they're pushing the action. We were talking about it. 145. Yeah. These guys go. Rarely have we been disappointed by the 145 class. Buena Fuente nice. looked like he was going to try to take the back. You know, I like this. You know, throwing knees to the thighs. People still not do this enough if you do it the right way because the muscles are relaxed. And you know, you can really finish your yes. fight with two or three knees. But look at this. Wow. Almost had his back there for a rear naked choke. But now he goes in for a guillotine. Look at this. Yeah, but he doesn't have his legs wrapped around him, so it's an easy escape here. Oh, nice knee to the midsection there. Oh, Elgio, that, that, was, that was a yeah. cool knee. You know, you talk about how good their offense has been here in the first minute and a half of this fight, but the defense by both guys, boss, has been sensational. Yeah, that's what I think. You know, I think later on here, I wonder if this is going to stay, uh, if they still will to try to take this fight to the ground. Because both, watch this, it's on the ground, but it will probably get up right away again. He's looking here for a guillotine. It's very hard to finish. Yep. You know, especially he's in half guard. Yeah. And being both these guys submission specialists, I don't think they can pull it up. What if Fuente has Bill Algio up against the cage for a guillotine again? I would just rain these to the body. Did you see? Back up again. Yep. Slips out of it easily and grabs a single. Nice body shots here by Algio. Look at that reversal. Boomer. He hit the switch and that was it. Great action early on. This one's scheduled mercifully for just three rounds. 2.40 to go here in round number one. There we have the knees to the thighs again. Whoa, what a pace. Still going here, Buena Fuente for the takedown. Look at this double leg high up. Boy, why not? Just slamming down. Lots of power here. But he's still got a wizard over there. And I'm talking, of course, by Algio. Algio looks very that comfortable, go. doesn't he? Yeah, as soon as Buena Fuente's going to let his legs go, he's going to get back up. Look, there we go again. <laughs> It's very hard. It's going to try to take the back. Knees to the thighs again here by Buena Fuente. And he should keep throwing this. Got to watch out here. Kimura might be there. No, he oh. stretches up. Wow, he caught him with a knee as he spun around. Buena Fuente spun around and met the knee of Algio. That was great timing there. Great action in the corner as the pace has slowed. This one's scheduled for three rounds as we approach 90 seconds to go in round number one. You know, El Joe's constantly having that arm there. He wants to make sure that if it goes to the ground, he probably is going to go for Kimura. 
He doesn't have his luckness with his right hand, though. Now he's going for it. But you know, he's got a butterfly guy. There's no way he can pull it up. Algeo's defense has been rock solid the last minute and a half. Blood now coming from the nose of Frank Buenafuente. Oh, now we got him looking for a triangle choke, but you know, he recognizes yep, it. Yep, he did. He will not let that right leg go over the shoulder. And that's the perfect way to stay out of it. And Omoplata, maybe, he's got to sit up here now. That will be great if you can pull this one up. No, Look no. Look at this. Look at this. Gee. And now, oh, I thought, okay, that was a small little time to have to go maybe for a triangle, but he just missed that. Well, <laughs> I guarantee you those bodies are yeah. blasted with like the that's it right now because I hope they warmed up really well in the dressing room. Otherwise, you're going to hit a wall in a few seconds. 30 seconds to go here in round number one of three. Blood now coming from the nose of Frank Buenafuente as Bill Algio tries to impose his will. Still looking for the Kimura there from the bottom. Yeah, Buena Fuente is constantly attacking that arm. You know, and uh, Algio knows that he cannot let go because if he lets go, oh, there we go. Nice. Maybe a little bit of ground and pound action to wrap up the round. Good for the jury. So we will see a second round here in Atlantic City. Bill Algio and Frank Buena Fuente in the featherweight division. That was a beautiful knee, man. He can take a punch. So well timed. Very nice. And look here, what he's gonna do. Boom, that's what they call hitting the switch. And right away, that would have been great. He was looking already for a triangle. But both these guys are phenomenal on the ground. Look at this guy looking for that Kimura. But Oof. he knows a beautiful slipped in that short little knee there. You know, great Second reflexes. Down. Round two from Atlantic City, Revels Ovation Hall in the featherweight division. You see Buena Fuentes' legs are a little rubbery here, you know, and that means that he used them a lot during grappling. It was like the accident there. He came out with his mouth open also. Well, the pace they went that first five minutes was amazing. Yep. And it looks like, as you're right, Bill Algio looks to be the fresher fighter here as we start round number two. Yeah, instead of going for the head with the kick, I will go for the body now. When, when your opponent is tired, you start breathing faster. And when you nail that kick on the way when he breathes in, yep. that's the sweet spot. Look at this, how fast he reversed himself there. And again, has that arm lock there. And both he's got nice short little elbow in there. Look at this. Now, quickly, he's trying to grab oh, a hold of wrist control, control here. It's hard to finish because he can simply somersault yeah. out if he tries to finish like that, but then at least he has a better position. And now he's a side mount. That so was Bill Algio control. right now on top with a modified side control. Frank Buenafuente trying to catch his wits there, controlling the head of Algio. If he's staying on that side, he doesn't want him to put him in the guard because he knows now. Uh-oh, he's got to watch out for a reverse triangle here. If he can lock that up behind his knee, yeah. that could be trouble. No, he's slipping out. He's slipping out. Yep. But you know, you got to like that both these guys are constantly fishing for something, whether it's a triangle, whether it's a guillotine, whether it's, you know, they, they've thrown almost everything at each other. It's crazy, because we said, okay, boy, the friend might be tired, but look at him. Yep. He is constantly pressing the action. He's maybe it was just one of those guys. Again, oh. more attempt. He cannot finish it, but again, he get him in a better reversal. Well, actually, he's in half guard now. If he could look it, he might have it. Nope. Buenafuente recognizes it, throws his arm around the torso of Algio. Wow. Well, this fight is just turning right and left. If you had to go back to round number one, boss, who are you giving round one to? <laughs> That's a hard question. Very hard. It went back and forth nonstop. You know, he's looking for a triangle here. Uh, he's on the bottom here with LGO. He's controlling that wrist, not anymore. You know, there, there we go, see? They tried to pass. 
Well, Buena Fuente just knows that he sees everything coming. Yep. Good recognition by both fighters as we go under two and a half minutes, halfway through round two. This one's scheduled for three in the featherweight division of the World Series of Fighting from Atlantic City. Maybe it's going to be a sweep here from the bottom. Nope, almost there. Because yet the butterfly in, I'm going to have butterfly. If there's going to be a sweep, it's going to be to the left, to the cage, so to say. Algio doing a great job controlling the right arm, now trying to get a closed guard in on Buena Fuente. And constantly he's trying to look up the dog, go for a triangle. You see, he's trying to pass that arm. But now he's in hand guard, can't do it anymore. Oh man, back in the back. Right away, he's got to put the hooks in, otherwise he slips yep. off. You see, that's why you need to put the hooks in, ladies and gentlemen. So an opportunity missed there for Frank Buenafuente. For moments, it looked like he was going to take the back, but his boss pointed out, didn't get the hooks in, slipped right off the back of Bill Algio. Now it's Algio with the side control. Let's see if he's going to step over there. With an, uh, a straight arm, oh no, not anymore. He had that arm from Buena Fuente to push in such a way. I thought, uh, now still he might go for straight arm bar. It's almost like he's looking for it. Sets it up. No. Short little elbows there coming from Algio. He's baiting it. He's baiting it on the arm. He's busy with the other arm, but he might go in a straight arm bar on the left arm. Wow, my position. Why not? Yeah. Let's go to the mount. <laughs> Buena Fuente trying to catch his breath, and he knows if he lays there and doesn't control the wrist, he's going to be in a lot of trouble as Algio will most certainly rain down heavy leather. Body triangle. This is going to be very hot here now for Buena Fuente to turn in the gut because everything is locked up. Algio just tears over his corner. How much time left? Yeah. Longly under 36 seconds now to go in round two. And so you got to push it this. See if you can go for a real naked, give it everything he's got. You know, not a huge advantage necessarily once you step inside the cage, but Bill Algio has he kept all the action. He's got to keep pulling because sometimes. That's it, that's it. Yeah, you pulled his own jaw into his throat. And that's what you see lately more. People are doing that. It's a great little joke there. That is it as Bill Algio ends the fight in the second round as he got the choke in tight end. Buena Fuente gamely tried to fight it off, but was unable to get out of Bill Algio's grip. And that will end it in round two. Algio, your winner. Wow, he broke his winning sp uh, spree, you know? He's got where he was 5-0 in amateur, 2-0 there, and he was the first guy to stop him. I didn't expect this. This was really well done. Look at the guys when you see them walking, the way they walk, they, 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 they shake because the legs are... Here it is one more time. Let's take it through the genesis of this thing. You see, he grabs it and what he's going to do now, he's going to pull his right his shoulders backwards. And by doing that, he's closing the space in between his elbow, the point of his elbow, and the choke. As you can see, it's not really under there. I think right. fatigue also plays an uh, effector yeah. here because he's tired. He should have tried here to push off at that moment. Now he can't do it anymore and try to roll over here. No one's it, once that slipped on, it's very hard to untangle that arm. Well, Bill Algier was the one that pushed the pace. Remember, he came out at the bell and did the flying knee right into Fuente Buena Fuente. But round one, I'd say, was almost an even draw. But in the second round, Bill Algier pushing the pace. He did that, you know. And the great thing here, he lays on his side. That means there's space behind him. And that means that he can really close that distance. He could not pull, have pulled this one off right. when laying on his back. Ladies and gentlemen, we have an official time of four minutes, 36 seconds of the second round. This one comes to an end by way of a rear naked choke submission for your winner, Bill Algio. Yeah. Get ready. What you wanna do? If you don't strike first, that's when they gon' come at you. Yeah. And you know it's true. Don't let your life get worse. Being timid, that ain't cool. Nah, you gotta wake up, grab your crew and lace up. Make your move right now, cause